What's good, y'all? I'm back. Got a couple videos to drop today, but um, before I get into that, you know, just uh, I just want to shout out one of my uh, one of my viewers. His name is um, Andre Moore, but he goes by Bahim's Escobar on Facebook. He's a viewer of my videos. Shout out to him. Anyway, um, I know I'm a couple of days late on this, but I don't care because it's still uh, pretty much a hot topic on the internet. You know, YouTube, Twitter, all that good stuff. I want to uh, talk about a couple of uh, highlights of the 2011 BET Hip Hop Awards. First, I want to talk about um, DMX. DMX is his um, comeback party, his return performance. And shh, needless to say, you know, DMX, he's always going to be in my top 10 rappers, whether it's current or all time. But, you know, he came back, you know, he killed it, he slayed it. He, he proved that he still got it. Even Soldier Boy in the crowd was bobbing his head to party up. Y'all going to make me lose my mind. You know, he. You know, that, that hardcore rap style, it still stayed with him. He has not lost his stuff. Now, he could make a big comeback and, you know, turn the rap game around, provided that he keeps his nose clean and stays his black ass out of jail. But regardless of what he does outside of the rap game, you know, he actually lives what he talk about. You know, he actually does, you know, do the hood shit, you know, being in that jail and stuff. I don't glorify that, but at least he real about it. But X still got it. And he showed these young ass dudes like Soldier Boy and them actually how to rap and how to flow. And, um... Another uh, high point of the 2011 uh, Hip Hop Awards, you know, the ciphers, you know, a lot of the ciphers, you know, that French dude in that one cipher, he killed it, even though I could barely understand the word he was saying. And um, the Maybach group, they did their thing. Chris Brown, his was I. Right. I mean, Chris Brown, he started off as an R&B artist, now he just wants to be just a full-blown rapper. He needs to really decide what he wants to do, but, you know, I can't hate on him, you know, he doing his thing. And, um, let's see, oh yeah, Luda, Chris, and Busta Rhymes, they killed, they junk too, you know, I, I think, uh, Luda did just a little bit better than Busta Rhymes did, you know, as far as the lyrics goes, but, you know, I think Busta Rhymes, he had a better flow, even though his flow was all over the place. And, of course, um, after, you, after, when it comes to boxing, you got your undercard, then you got your main event, and what everybody was waiting for was the Shady 2.0 cypher. <laughs> you know, you, you got Eminem, Slaughterhouse, and Yellow Wolf, I mean, there was not, it was, that joke was damn near flawless. You couldn't pick one who did better over the other, you know. But just far as uh, who I think was the top three performers, um, whew, uh, I'm going to just go ahead and just say um, Joe Button. I mean, Joe Button, he spit a whole bunch of nasty lines. And Joe Button, he's always been an underrated rapper. And for some people say that Joe Button was just a pump it up guy and then he fell off, you need to really listen to that cat and, you know, because, you know, he just went the hell in, just ripped everybody a new asshole, you know. People need to stop sweeping on Joe Button, regardless of what he does, you know. He ain't just a one-hit wonder, or at least he proved that during the awards. The second one, to me, is a tie between uh, Crooked Eye and Royce the Five Nine. And, you know, Royce the Five Nine, he killed a junk with the Hi Rihanna, Bye Rihanna, that shit. I think that shit is still a trending topic on Twitter. And um, Crooked Eye, you know, Crooked Eye was nasty. He spit one line that... If you're not a real hip hop fan, it will go straight over your head. He said, um, yeah, it was a big pun and yeah, a big pun and L. Get the get the big picture or some shit like that. You know, it was just basically a reference to all the bigs of hip hop. You know, um, Big L, Big Pun, Notorious B.I.G., and of course um, Eminem. You know, you got it. Like I don't know whether to put them over the other one, but you know, Eminem. Needless to say, everybody knew he was gonna just shut the whole junk down. Some people say Eminem is overrated, but. Psh, no matter if he's overrated or not in your eyes, you can't just you can't hate on skill straight up. And that one uh, line he spit, um, big deal. I took a little kid's big wheel and spit in his big kid's meal. <laughs> that jump was raw as hell. But uh, anyway, that's just my overview slash review of that, and just basically just the highlights of what I thought was hot. But anyway, if you seen the awards, what did you think was hot? And what did you think was the best cipher? And out of the Shady 2.0 cipher, who went in the most? I'm out, y'all.